Do you think referees get the respect that they should? As as an official and as a member of society. Because again, I feel like referees get treated like the bottom of the barrel. And I know it goes both ways before you get into it, but I'm just saying, do you think the referees get the respect they deserve? Listen, I'm not anti-referee. I'm not anti-human. I'm anti-bullshit. That's what I am. No, I don't think referees get enough respect. I don't think enough people really understand how difficult it is to referee a game. <clears throat> but I think as a very minimum, all we ask is that you get the very basic things correct. And the things that you get wrong, again, all we ask for is that you hold your hands up and apologise. Now, sometimes it's not possible to do that in the moment. Cool, we get that. But I think it it's easier to swallow when somebody shows their human side. When somebody shows you that they're human, that's a hell of a lot easier to swallow than someone that's turning around going, nope, you're wrong, I know better than you. Well, well, if you're so good, why don't you just play better then? Why are you making so many mistakes as a footballer? Like, that's not the way to go. You, you, don't, you, don't, you don't point the finger elsewhere. You want to look at the man in the mirror. So, you know, it's difficult. No, I don't think referees get enough respect. A lot of them, and I do mean a lot, in fact, in this country, I'm going to say the vast majority make it impossible for themselves <coughs> to be respected because of how they behave and the way that they don't communicate. Um, their lack of social awareness. I think the way that the referee, the, the way that referees are recruited is it is poor. I think the way that they're educated is poor. I think the way that they're supported is poor. I think the way that they're disciplined is poor. There's there, there's there's an awful awful lot that I would say would really, really need to change. And I know that there are some really good people in the FA, certainly in, ref, in, in, in the FA's education department that works both for coaching and, and, and officiating. I know there's some really good people in there with some amazing ideas that are probably, I say probably, that are being ignored. Hmm. Because this game is steeped in tradition. There's a lot of things that we do just out of tradition. We don't really know why we do it, but we do it anyway. Hmm. And it's, you know, it, listen, there's a fine balance between creativity and, and, and insanity and I think the way that we're doing things at the moment is co is completely insane we're not being creative enough with the way that we tackle problems <clears throat> there is a big problem with, with with referees education with a consistency in the rules uh, and understanding and the way that the rules are applied there's a big problem with that I don't think that falls at the feet of the referees it doesn't give people an excuse or a reason to attack them verbally or physically um it's a tough one, but ultimately the answer to your question is no. They're not. They're not respected enough. Um, Why do you think that is? Though, I think bro? there like, needs to be an open book. Because again, like <laughs> I feel like the Premier League and the, the high leagues have a knock-on effect on how things are set in stone. Like when you see, for example, the Mitrovic situation, for example, you know him going up to a referee and pushing him and shoving him. Yeah, he's got an eight-game ban now, but. Does that then have a knock-on effect on Sunday League and, and grassroots level? Is it that when I look when I see other sports, for example, rugby, it's a, it's a, it's chalk and cheese in terms of the respect level for referees? Because again, like what he says goes. So do we need to kind of look elsewhere? We need to sort out our professional game before we then we sort out the, the Sunday League game. Like what what do you think it's narrowed down to? Um, right, so I would say if you're going to compare the referees that do rugby games in comparison to football, I would say go and watch those people as individuals and then you'll understand. Because the kinds of individuals that are drawn and attracted to, 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 to rugby are the kinds of people that you listen to. They're the kinds of people that, that command your respect naturally and physically. Uh, now, that doesn't mean to say that you don't get people like that in football. You most certainly do. You most certainly do. But for the most part, Rugby is a game uh, for gentlemen played by thugs. I think that's the term that's used when it were uh, for rugby. Listen, I, I grew up playing rugby, no surprise. Um, and absolutely, we, we showed more respect to the referees in, in rugby. Mm. But when those, when those people spoke to you, they spoke to you in a very different way. The way that the rules are in rugby are very, very different. So it's really hard for me to try to compare the two but ultimately, it comes down to individuals. Mm. Who you're choosing to, to, to become a referee, what, what is the selection process like? What's the training process like? 
I think there needs to be an open book. I think people on the outside need to see more of this so they understand it. And then maybe they'll have a better understanding of where the referees are coming from when, when they are applying the rules in a certain way or not applying the rules in a certain way.